That's where we make all our YouTube videos. Over there, in Hollywood. It's true. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. That's Thanks whole, so much for having me. That's a whole me. lot of phone. Yeah, it is. All right, so I guess there's a couple of different things. What phone are we actually using every day? Because that's yep. a good indicator of what the best phone is. But also after a long 2018 and a lot of phones coming out. Techtober. Techtober as well. Like which is the best phone? If someone's gonna go out right now, mm -hmm. obviously this changes every few months, but what's the best phone? For me personally right now, I'm, wait, I'm wait. <laughs> Don't tell them because then they'll click off the video if you give them the answer. <laughs> you have to wait till the true, end true. to say okay. what phone you're using, okay, what your okay, favorite okay. phone is. But well, let's talk through some of the phones that have really stood out for us this year. Yeah. And if we think all the way back to like February, MWC, we had the S9, the S9 Plus, which feels like such a long time ago. I feel by saying it, S9 Plus almost sounds like that was last year. It does, isn't well, it? This was this year. The phones that stood out for me, S9 Plus, uh, the new Note 9, Hashtag not spawn. Huawei Mate 20 Pro mm -hmm. stood out for me as well. Um, I love the camera arrangement on the back. Why do we have two Mate 20 Pro? <laughs> I don't know. It, it must, it, that must say a lot about the fact about the phone itself, right? Or Huawei just giving them out. I don't yeah, know, they're something just like dishing that. them out like hotcake. Let's talk design because obviously this is the year of notches, right? Uh, notch again. Notch, notch again. <laughs> I hope you call that I notch could, again. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> and I mean, it's good because it's thinner bezels, edge yeah. to edge screens. But a lot of these phones look exactly the same, right? I was having this, this discussion the other day. I almost feel like there's a company that's making all these phones for all of them. <laughs> and they just go, so which, which design would you like? Would what you logo like, do you want on the back? Yeah, yeah, which, where do you want your logo? Where do you want your notch? Do you want it there? Do you want it there? It almost feels like that. So give me your top three phones this year that stand out in terms of design. Design-wise, Oppo Find X. Oh, that's the one with the thing coming out of it. I love that. That's so cool. Like everywhere I go with that phone, people are always like, that's all displayed, there's no bezel. I'm like, yeah. And the sound of that little motor coming yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people worry about like how quickly it opens, but trust me. It works really it's fast. Quick. Yeah, yeah. I think next with, for me, design wise, I would say S9 Plus. I mean, it's not much of a difference from last year, but not it's, much it's just a good all rounder. Yeah, yeah. It's evergreen. I think they didn't have to change that design. Yeah. It's just as good as it can get. Yeah. And I think Mate 20 Pro as well, I think they're pushing, Huawei's always pushed the color scheme. Yeah. That's just beautiful. So best three looking phones in your eyes are Mate 20 Pro, Oppo Find X. S S9 Plus. <laughs> S9 Plus. <laughs> for me, for me, it's difficult because you're holding, I see you're holding the new fancy purple OnePlus 6T. Yeah, Thunder something. Thunder Purple? Yes. Purple what, Rain? What's her name? I don't know. It's really nice. Yeah. It's kind of simple, which I like. I like it. Taking out the box straight away, I'm like, that looks great, but it almost feels like they started spraying it that color. Yeah. And then they ran out of paint. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll just, just leave it. We'll call, we'll call it Thunder, Thunder Purple. They'll call it a gradient because yeah, they ran yeah. out of paint. One of the most interesting looking phones, I think, is the, which I think I have it in my collection here, is the Xiaomi Mi 8 Pro. Yes. I left mine back in London. A terrible person. Which that is, I love the So I've not done a full review of this yet. We actually yeah. only got it in the UK a couple of weeks yes, ago. Yes, that's right. But it has this transparent back. But yeah. what's interesting is that even though you can see all the little things going on, the Qualcomm uh, logo, all that good stuff, that is fake, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's ornamental. Yeah, yeah. That, that It is genuinely transparent, but onto a fake layer. Fake layer, yeah, that, yeah. That's just like a dummy yeah. motherboard. So it's a bit like, mm, is, that, is that a bit cheap and gimmicky or actually does it stand out? I like it. I like it. I think it's a good idea. People like the look of it. You don't have to explain to everyone it's not real. Yeah, I think this is one of the most interesting phones. I agree with you, the Mate 20 Pro. Yeah. Especially in that beautiful twilight. I actually quite like the Sony Xperia XZ3. Oh, you but brought that back. I'm not, I'm not, I did bring that. I'm not going to include it because it falls off tables and yeah, it's slippery. Yeah, it's slippery. So but slippery. But it's just a little different. It is. I quite like the Note 9 as well. Yes. Because it's just, it's a refinement of the Note 8, which was already good. And it's just one of those phones where it doesn't have a notch. It's kind of symmetrical looking. Yeah. Good all rounder, functional. Still got a rear fingerprint reader, which I yeah, quite yeah. like. And I love the S Pen. And I love the S Pen. S Maybe it doesn't design. stand, not every phone has to stand out. Like yeah. some people want a classy looking or premium Classic. phone. Yeah. So. Something functional. Functional. Yeah, so yeah. I think the Note 9 from that perspective kind of comes out yeah. on top. So let's talk speed. We've done design, let's talk performance and speed and stuff. And as you said at the beginning, you can't really go wrong. Everything, wow. even mid-range things, play every game, play yeah. every app. Slightly different levels of quality perhaps, but yeah. generally it's very, very similar. Performance wise, my top, phone, my top three for performance would be Mate 20 Pro, uh, even even with all the bloatware and whatnot. The Kirin 980 is just, it's faster than the 8 It's super fast, yeah. and I think they've used AI in a smart way, in the sense that when you take it out of the box, two years down the line on your contract phone, 
it still feels the same way it felt when you took it out of the box. That's great. One plus six, one plus in general, mm -hmm. they've nailed that. I think that's really good. You can actually you can actually feel how quick it is, like using the phone day, on daily day to day basis. And then thirdly for me, a dark horse would be Nokia. I'm gonna say the seven point one. Or the yes. seven plus. Seven, seven yeah, seven. Because it's basically one. seven it's basically stock Android. It is. For two nine nine or three two nine. That's right. I uh, yeah. It's so it's I'm glad so you brought that up. Silky smooth. Performance wise, you use it and you think, wow, this is good. Yeah. So I think you got you got variety. And even though like the Nokia may run a mid range processor and mm -hmm. it may not be as high frame rate in games, yeah, yeah. for most of the stuff you're gonna do, swiping between home screens, going Instagram. And the price point. And the price point, you like you, you can't complain. You definitely can't. So really we want either an iPhone or as close to stock Android as possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I Here's agree. a question for you then. Why can't all these brands just stick to stock Android? Why do That's they a have question. to Well, because we're seeing Android One, one aren't we? With Android yeah. One, which is what you get with the new the latest Moto mm -hmm. Motorola phones right. and also the new Nokia phones. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of supposed to give us this pure Android yeah, experience, yeah. which sort of Google sign off on. Yeah, they guarantee upgrades as well. Well, you know what, we've talked about this, have an option. Yeah. So like when the Galaxy S10 comes out, because Samsung's UI still isn't the best. It's, it's better. got better over time. It's got better, yeah, but it's yeah. still not the best. Yeah. I would love it if you could pay, I don't know, like 50 pounds more or even 50 pounds less right. and get it with Android One. I see what you mean, yeah. You know, like yeah. maybe you're losing out on Samsung's features, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I just want that speed. While we're talking about performance, we can't not mention the Razer Phone 2, and also oh, the Asus the ROG phone. of the gaming device. The gaming phone. Ah, oh, it's becoming a thing. I don't think makes a whole lot of difference. High refresh rates, I love. Yeah. 90 hertz on the, on the ROG phone, 120 on the Razer Phone 2. Mm. Does anyone really want an overclocked eight, Snapdragon 845 when a phone with an 855 will yeah. come out in a couple months? You know what though, I think when game uh, publishers uh, or developers, when they create games, I think they actually develop it to be as efficient as possible. Yeah. For the average. Well, they have to be, because how many people own a Razer phone or a, 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 a ROG phone? Yeah. But so, four people in the world. With that in mind, it defeats the purpose. I'm not sold on that yet. I'm not. I like the high refresh rate, the smoother yeah. scrolling. I wish more phones did that. Yeah. yeah. And that's the other thing. These phones are great, but like the Asus ROG isn't going to have the best camera. The Razer phone is a tank to hold. Yeah. It's so hard for them to nail everything, like all around. Yeah be like, okay, it's a gaming device, but also great cameras there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it takes so long to come out, and by the time we do, like the ROG phone, yeah. next stuff is around the corner. Hopefully next year, we'll see more gaming devices. Maybe we'll get better and better. We'll and the games will be optimized and developed for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Best camera. Best camera. Best camera on the phone right now. I know what I think it is. Yeah. Give me top three. Give me top three. Three? Yeah. Okay, so iPhone XS. Yes, I agree. Pull it out of your pocket, any scenario, any situation. I agree, it it's just it. a great point and yeah, shoot. You don't have to do any extra settings, you don't have to do anything, you're good to go. And then I think my second one would be Mate 20 Pro, mm -hmm. for sure. Like Mate 20 Pro night mode is Oh, it's fantastic. Magical. And the three lenses, ultra wide, zoom, hybrid. I think that's the perfect combination. I mean, I've been out here for the uh, LA Auto Show mm -hmm. and have we even mentioned that we're in LA? Oh, yeah, we're in LA. There's a reason we're not in the studio, it's because we're in LA. We're like, what, 20 minutes into the video? Like, yeah. Oh, this is his hotel room That's in LA. Right. Shooting where I need to shoot. I really like the ultra wide angle. It's, I use I, it way more I'm than I thought I would. To it. And you can use it with night mode as well, which is great. I'm just hoping that the next iteration of the Mate series, wide angle wise, would have a better, a higher resolution. Yeah, and a wider aperture as well. Yeah. yeah. Now, after three, yeah. Let's say off the, what we think is the best camera. I'm sure you guys already have your... I haven't said my third one yet. I know, that's what I'm saying. Let's, let's say it together. Okay. Because I think I know what it's going to be. Uh, you ready? All right, three, two, one. Pixel, Pixel 3. three. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> that wasn't planned, I promise. Well, honestly, it wasn't planned. Um, Hashtag pay for by Google. <laughs> <laughs> Pixel 3, in my case, my 3XL. Camera again. Yeah. If, have you tried Night Sight on it? I haven't yet, because it's, not, like, it's not official yet, right. but the, the beta one that I tested... Transforms it, doesn't it? It's magical. Four, one, three lenses, one yeah. lens. And yeah, all we still think this is better. All in the software. This guy knows. He knows all in the software. Before we get on to pricing and then off our conclusions, mm -hmm. best battery life. Mate 20 Pro. Mate 20 Pro. Hands down. 4,200 yeah. milliamp hours. With AI as well. With AI. And, and the Kirin 980 chip is pretty efficient yeah. as well. So yeah, this thing will last me two days. The reverse wireless charging. Oh on yes, the let's not I was, forget that. I was at a bar the other day in, yeah. in um, San Diego, right. and this uh, girl's phone, I was, she was part of the group, it wasn't a random person. <coughs> <clears throat> and I was like, hold the phone. Yeah. Was quite hold good, my beer. Quite a good plan. Hold my beer, meant. HMB. <laughs> Let me show you what happens here. And it lit up. Yeah. And she's like, 
how did you how? do that? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. such a great bar trick. Yeah, yeah. But then you have to instantly explain this is so slow. Yeah, he is very slow. You'll get like 5% yeah. in half an hour. Yeah. This is the first iteration of it though. Right. So I'm guessing in the future it'll be faster and maybe we'll get a bigger battery enough not to drain I your really like it though. Yeah. I mean, it sounds kind of gimmicky, but it was a genuinely quite useful thing. It got her from zero to 5%, she could yeah. call an Uber. That's it. Uh, I should be making adverts. Do you not think though, like, it's such a simple idea that you think, why now? Because why? until now, all the other phones have like, we've had to ration the battery so much. Yeah, yeah. Are you big on wireless charging? No. I am. Are you? Yeah, no I love, really. I love yes. wireless charging. I'll tell you why. So. Imagine I'm at my desk at home. I just place my phone down. Yeah. I don't want to keep plugging, unplugging. It's true. So I love the whole like, put it down, use it, put it back That's down. That's a good point. Back up. Yeah. So for me, just I love wireless charge. charging for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I'll so I'll Even when I get in cars with no wireless charging, I'm like, what's this? Because I love just, it's just there. Get rid of this car. Yeah. <laughs> give, give me another one. <laughs> Burn it. It's that YouTube money, man. All right, so we're going to make 20 Pro yeah. for battery. The one thing about most of these phones that we have here, which I've just thrown out on the floor because they've got no table, is they're just so expensive. Yeah. Mate 20 Pro is like 900, the iPhone XS is a grand, uh, the Note 9 is like 900. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but I think value for money, 60, or the Xiaomi. I agree. I mean, 499, yeah. I mean, if you want a flagship phone, these are still 500 quid, they're still very expensive, expensive for yeah. most people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's half the price yes. of the iPhone XS. Yes, like and you get the Xiaomi or the, the 6T. You get so much for the money, and yeah. I think you can't go wrong in that sense. I think it's good that OnePlus are actually finally have some competition in that yeah, mid-range right. flagship yeah. pricing space. So for flagships, value for money, Xiaomi Mi 8 Pro, OnePlus 16. OnePlus 16. That sort of uh, thing. If money's not, not an issue, then I'd say iPhone or the Mate 20 Pro or even the Pixel 3 XL. Or maybe the Note 9. Or Pixel 3, or even the Note 9. So <laughs> many options. So many options. So on the cheaper front, on the cheaper I like front. the Nokia 7.1, which is also known as a 7 Plus in some areas. I would recommend that any day, all day. Maybe the Moto G6 Plus. And I do quite like the Honor 8X and, it, and yeah, Play. Yeah, I was going to say, let's not forget Honor. Cheap and cheerful. Cheap and cheerful. I think you have a lot of options now. Yeah. And that's what matters. Yeah, but then you still yeah. have things like the Samsung J3s and A9s and yeah. LG blah blah blah. So we haven't even, even talked about the LG V40, which L should we just stop there? Are you sorry? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know what they're up to. The LG G3 was my first ever video. Oh really? My first ever video. I love the G3, but LG, <laughs> yeah. what's happened? Because they, they, when the V30, V40 comes out, the thank mm -hmm. you, everyone's like, oh, actually this is pretty good. Yeah. And then within about five minutes, someone else has come out with the same thing but better. Yeah. They're behind, they, they're playing catch up. Software's a little bit behind. Software's behind release, even like releasing the phone. Right, in the UK at least, just their PR just isn't very good at giving it to us. Yeah, so you'd end, you'd end up being like, well, I can't talk about it, so no one knows about it. What's the best phone, Tommy? Gadgets boy. Best phone this year. So at the moment, the phone that I use every day, yep. no matter what other phone I'm reviewing. Before you say it, can we just say this video is not sponsored by anyone. No matter what we are about to say, someone's gonna say, because we're sponsored by that brand, this video is not no. sponsored at all. I'm gonna go, ah, oh, this is tough. It's split. Am I allowed to be, to be greedy? No. Right now, I'm using the Mate 20 Pro okay. and the 6T, but the 6T because I'm reviewing this at the moment. Okay. Once I'm done with my review, I'm going back to the Note 9. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Good camera, yep. battery's decent. I love the S Pen. It's just like a great all-rounder, but I just find it a little bit big. Yeah, that's and what And the said. soft Gadgets Boy, best phone you can buy right now. Note slash 9. Slash best phone of 2018. Note 9. Samsung Not Galaxy sponsored, Note 9. but yeah. What about you? I love the iPhone XS, but okay. I tend to use Android phones more. Okay. And right now, I am using the Mate 20 Pro. And I think, I'm gonna say the Mate 20 Pro is my okay. is the best phone to buy right now. When we have a pile of phones like this, oh, I guess it's quite a good indicator of what we think is good yeah. by what we have in our pocket. That's right, that's right. It's been a pleasure. Thank Thanks you so much for coming on, Tommy. Thank you. Check out his channel at Gadgets Boy and all over social media. This guy's just all over social media. It's disgusting, really. But it's been a real pleasure to have you. Let us know what you think in the comments. What phone are you using? What phone out of all these we've talked about would you like to go for next? Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of me and probably no more of him because we're not ever gonna do this again. And I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat. Ciao. Then that's my 50 card, 50 phone yes. pickup. Oh. Oh. No, that's you. That's Time at the Tech Chat. Yeah. Time at the Tech Chat. Oh, wait, no, I've got your one here. Yeah, don't rub my phone, yeah, man. You've got, you've got enough as it is. Thanks, man. Can I have, yeah, thank you. <laughs>